They'll change your heart. What I need to do just for, you know, just, just for the sakes of doing so, I need everybody to repeat after me, okay? The outlaw Keith Matthews is better than me. He hates old people. He hates children. And he especially hates these stinking women over here. You must really smell, smell bad. You seem real offended by it, huh? Yes, I Of you. Yes. Oh, 
Do you like this microphone? Just one, one question before, before I give a rebuttal. I get, I get the crazy. Can you explain the 88? Is there 88 of It's just part of being crazy. All right, first of all, nobody is smart enough to go to Outlaw into doing anything. That's my stick. That's what I do. That's what I've made a living doing for over 15 years. You think you're going to come out, point your fingers, and get me to do what you want? It's not going to happen. There's not going to be a crazy 88 Brothers versus the Rough Riders because anytime we wanted those titles, we would just take them. However, I was very, don't, don't look at me like that. However, I got him. However, I was very infatuated with this brother's feud when y'all were just beating the crap out of each other with barbed wires, with chairs, with bats, everything you can think of except for the kitchen sink. There might have been one of them in that match, I'm not sure. I want to see that again. So what I'm going to do tonight, I'm going to make a match between the brothers. Y'all will fight each other tonight. How about them apples? That's ancient history. And this is the present. And that ain't going to happen. And we've had some feuding amongst ourselves. But uh, we're past all that. And nobody wants to see that anyway. Now we want to see Hojo and Alpha! Hojo and Alpha! That sounds pretty good, actually. I like the way he thinks. I like the way he thinks. How about that? Oh, you two face each other. But no, I, I'm not going, I mean, we're not going to fight each other. We're brothers to the end, and that's not going to happen. I don't care what you say. What I say is this. I'm the boss. I am the ultimate power in the Millennium Wrestling Federation. So therefore, you will wrestle Mikado tonight, or I will strip y'all of these tag team titles. Come on, boy, power! Come on, boy! Guess you better take them then. You think you can? Because that ain't gonna happen. Yes, ours now, pal. How what you gonna do? Come on, you want some? Come here. What are you doing? Right out here. Right out here. Oh, 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 you did it, man. You did it, man. Once again, Outlaw always get what he wants. Yes, he did. Yes, he did, Outlaw. So that brings me to this. Now, they are a fish strip of the MWF Tag Team Potters, which makes them vacant. So, as quick thinking, as smart as I am, I've been telling y'all how smart I am for years. You can't smart. But we'll do it the next show is we'll have a tag team tournament. Yeah. And you know what? Hojo and myself, the Rough Riders, will enter that tournament as the Rough Riders. You know what? We're the greatest tag team ever, so we'll enter as the number one seed. Since Mikado and Van are the former tag team champions, since they've been shooting sure tonight, they'll win. SC number two and so forth is we'll sign up. Yeah, that's true. They do smell like number two, but it's a seat number. So with that said, who's smarter than our law? Because 
Dave Crouch and I have parted company in an amicable way. Best of luck to the great one, but uh, looks like you might be a ring announcer, and uh, I don't have nothing to do, and I'm pretty, I'm pretty good blab in my mouth, so uh, we know that. how about it? I got, I got bigger things to do. Guys, right, have at it. You're the ring announcer. Good luck. Right, so since I was interrupted, I love, I love to sing along with the chant, sing along with the holder. So do it with me. Come on, one more time, y'all. Who's smarter now, Lala? I got something I got to say to you about the way you've always been abusing power and everything. Well, I just got to say this. Don't walk away yet because uh, I'm tired of seeing you cheat. Everybody's tired of seeing you cheat. And um, I've been talking with referee Scott Foster. We are tired of seeing you cheat. Well, here's what's going to happen. He's going to referee every single match you're in. That's just the way it's going to have to be. And the other thing is like this. Since I'm out here watching, Scott's a great referee, but he don't have eyes in the back of his head. But I can watch, and I got my whistle, and every single time you cheat, I'm going to blow my whistle to let Scott know so he can catch you, you cheating, lying, rotten hound dog. Thank you. 